Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I am Sally. And in today's video, I'm going to do a large scale weave. I'm basing it on sea and oceans. I lived in Bermuda for a little while years ago and I've got plenty of photography from there. But there's one picture that I'm going to be working from and it's of the sea and the beaches and the coral sands. So I'm going to be including several different types of techniques. I might include some lace so shall we get straight into it i am going to be starting off a large weave on a huge board and i'm going to be using this photograph here of me in bermuda and i'm going to be looking at the sky going down into the sea and then onto the beach kind of more just this side really not so much me. I have got loads of different wools um, over here. And yeah, we've got these ones all cut up as well. Those are fabrics and we've got these colours here. So I am going to... My idea really is to start quite flat at the top, some depth of colour and then getting lighter and then going into quite long tassels, um, maybe some macrame. So let's see how we go. So that's my sort of plan, my colour scheme going down this side here. So I'm going to take a photograph of this to remember the order and I'm going to get started. So just on my way back. And I'm doing the other half of the sumac with this kind of like t-shirt material. Oh, a little stroke. Hello. Is that a squeaky meow? No, oh, he is so cute. Oh, yeah, he is so cute. Sally loves you so much. It's getting messy. This is where we're up to. Yeah, I've just been experimenting with the different patterns that you can do. This one, I was just twisting all around and it's kind of gone quite knotty. And I do like the texture of that. Tried to do a bit of a stripe with sumac. Moving across. I'm loving the way it's falling. Look at that. Mixed up some colours in there, done sumac. And now I'm going to do big sumac. So, as I said, looking at sky going on over here. Let's go. see if I can just show you the ruching so I've just done a tabby weave there so just a plain weave and I'm just gonna pull the fabric got a long length there with some slack so I'm just gonna pull that pull that just 
just in different places like so and then i'll probably go in down here just a small amount across here and then let's give these a long tug because i want the length longer in that bit i'm looking at it now and i am thinking when i look at this one i'm thinking that i need to think about somehow introducing a little bit of white and then back to some paler blues so i can go into the darkness of the sea further down i think the bottom half is slightly bigger than the top half deeper that is i think very soon i need to switch down to the pink coral sands and the sea of bermuda Outside, Layla. Do you see anybody? Oh, watching the birdies. I just want to show you um, what I'm doing here. I'm just carrying on with the horizon of the sea there, and I am doing these kind of knots. So I'll show you what to do. You just take two strands of your warp, tuck it underneath, over the top of the next two. Take it underneath. Twist over the top and pull through the middle and you will get a nice chunky knot like that so once again underneath the next two over the top so underneath the two after Twist over and pull through. I'm just pushing those up underneath that sumac there. And I just started it with a knot. I'm using some wool that's nice and fluffy and I'm using four strands of it. So once again, underneath two. Round the back of the next two. Pull up, twist over the top and pull through. So I'm just going to show you how to come back and put knots in between the knots that I've already done. But I'm going to change the, I'm just going to use some material this time rather than the wool. So you've got a knot on these two strands. I'm not starting at the end over here, by the way, because this is all going to cover that bit. So, and I finished on the previous one up there. So I've put a knot underneath it. And now um, I know I've only got a short amount of fabric there, but I've got plenty more coming. So you're going to tuck it around the back of the next two warp strands. You're going to twist over the fabric and pull that in with a nice little knot that's going to go in the middle of these two. So I'm going to just see if I can get around another two there. Let's just see. It's going to be tight. Twist over and pull through. I've just tied a knot again underneath that one and now I'm just going to come behind those two. Twist, pull through. I'm going to push it in between there. Just tying that off. So over the top, round the back. twist, pull through. This is a bit of a wider bit of fabric there.
So I'm going to use some of this scrim. I'm going to use some of this gorgeous lace that I've got here. And I think this would be perfect in the weave. Loving that. And some of this netting. Yep. These are all the bits that I think I'm going to add in. It's a bit of a shimmer there. Very much at the point where I've done the majority of all the weave that I want to do. So now I'm going to crack on with getting into some fabrics down this sort of area, which is more the beach sort of side of things. And I just want to soften it up with these fabrics. I'm just going to insert a Saturday class, which was just last Saturday gone. I was doing some weaving with the boys and I just wanted to show you how they got on. They just did some samples to begin with. So I'll insert those now. But meanwhile, I will just organise these fabrics and get going. Update here. Um, I'm starting to incorporate my laces, and what I'm doing is I'm doing some loops, I'm doing some Ryan loop knots, I'm doing some long lengths, I'm turning the tassels upside down, and yeah, I'm just trying to bring together the piece really and get it quite nice and soft. I do want lots of lengths of fabrics hanging off. Some of these are vintage. Um, hey, some of these are vintage. <laughs> that one is the cotton scrim. I forgot the name of it then. And got some nice. Hello, hello, hello. You gonna stand all over it again? You all my attention. That's what she wants to do, and I really should do that because now, obviously, she's going to pester me and think that I'm playing a game, which I'm not, Layla. So this piece I had in mind was going to go over here. So I'm going to carry on with the tassels, them down here. I'm not too sure what I'm doing with these two areas at the minute. I might thread through some fabrics. This is so good for just tearing and getting some nice frayed edges. It's going to be heavy. <laughs> There's a lot going on there, isn't there? I've really enjoyed doing it though. It has taken some time. There's a little Layla. Yay. Right, let me just show you from this angle here. There we go. I've used all my favorite laces in there because it's a special place to me. Bermuda always will be, but yeah. I'm going to be having that up in this room. So I wanted to just make sure that I used all my precious special materials in there. So yeah, really pleased with it. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you did, 
do give it a big like that would be more than helpful and if you're new here today and you've enjoyed this video why not be a new subscriber which is free for you and i will see you in the very next video take care of yourselves oh and thank you so much for watching the shorts it's going really well okay then and i'm heading for ten thousand next so Keep subscribing and tell your friends and share the channel. Okay then, that's my plug. Bye.